Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you three easy ways to DIY yourself some elf ears for Halloween or any time. So you're going to start off with some tape. This is the easiest way I find. This is just a painter's tape, anything you know you can find at like a hardware store, probably even a dollar store. I would just go with a white or a painter's tape. Don't go with like a green one or um, a specific color because it's going to be hard to color over that. So I just have a white piece of tape here and I'm just making sure to move the hair away from my ear so I I don't catch on my hair and then when I take it off it doesn't rip my hair off but you're gonna need to layer up some of your tape here and just kind of the idea is we're building it up into a little point for your ear there so you can build it up as much as you want and shape it as much as you want but I put about four layers on there and I'm pretty happy with that now you're gonna take some foundation, you're just your regular foundation you wear, I have this on my face, and you're gonna put it on a sponge and then you can start to paint over your little elf ear. That nice and easy, now I'm going in with some brown eyeshadow. You wanna take an eyeshadow that's a little bit darker, something that you might almost use for like a contour, and just follow the natural shape of your ear, making it a little point, just to create a little bit more of a realistic illusion there. And to be honest, that's basically it. I'm just gonna take my hair and put it over the front and then I am gonna take a little bobby pin and I just bobby pin it right back, right across that edge so you don't see where the tape actually is. And that's it for number one. So, so easy and so simple, anyone can do it. Yeah, that's it, looking super cute. You got your little pointy elf ear there and that was about two minutes. Now we're gonna go on to number two. You're gonna need a pencil and some hard Bristol board or some hard paper. So same idea, we're always kind of making a little point. So I'm just making a little triangle here and then very important part, we need to make two little tabs. So kind of like two little rectangles that are just going off of that triangle there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Look at how weird mine looks right now, but when you cut it out, it should look like almost like a little, you know, like a washroom sign girl or something with her hands up, but no circle for the head. And then you're gonna take your tape, you're gonna bend those little tabs back and place your tape right on top so we have a little hole so we can kind of put it on top of our ear. So yeah, just like that, you got a nice little point and same idea. Take your foundation and just cover that, take the eyeshadow and then pop it on your ear and then just move your hair back out of the way. And there you go, that one's pretty simple as well. I still think the tape gives a better effect, but if you don't have tape, you can always use some hard paper. Now we're gonna go on to number three. So number three is gonna give you the most realistic ear. So for this, we're gonna need some liquid latex and this can be any liquid latex at all. It's just from a party city. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. You are also gonna need some modeling clay. This is just from the dollar store, it cost me $1.50. And we're going to shape a little, <laughs> what do you think, a little triangle again. So I'm just shaping this out here, but the important thing is every now and then when you're shaping it, hold it up to your ear and make sure it's the same width as your ear because you wanna make sure that will cover over the tip of it. So I just kinda of keep going back and forth and making sure it's covering the full portion of um, my tip of the ear there. I'm also taking a little brush here and I'm using the back of it to sculpt out a little dip because you know how our ear has like a little ridge there. So I wanna make it a little bit realistic and then just make a nice little point. Now we're gonna take the liquid latex and you're gonna take a sponge and start to, we wanna cover the front, the side, and the back. So this is me after a couple layers. You're gonna need quite a few, probably about 10 layers here, I would say at least. Um, I'm just putting the liquid latex in a cup because it's gonna dry and get all messy and then I have a cheap sponge and I'm just gonna start to pack down those layers. Like I said, front, side, and back, but you're gonna have to do this in steps. So you will need a blow dryer to speed everything up unless Unless, you know you just want to wait for it it doesn't matter but I wanted to speed it up so every time I put down a layer I'm just gonna blow dry it in the end it's gonna look something like this it kind of looks a little bit yellowish so you're gonna go in with a powder any type of powder and just go right on top of that ear so nothing sticks when you pull it off so you can already see it's gonna start to roll up here I'm just using my fingers to carefully roll up the sides and then I put my finger right in it so I can kind of pop it right up and it actually slid off really really easy super super easy and that's it for that one again really easy and then you just slip it right on your ear now to hold it in place 
let's take some of that liquid latex and go right on both sides there, the top and the bottom, just to stick it in place. It's gonna go back in with your foundation and that shadow and just color it in just like the other two steps there. And that's it guys, so that is three easy ways to make elf ears if you are, you know, going for Halloween or if you want to be a little elf on a regular basis, there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.